Hey everyone, I want to start off by saying welcome back to the channel. I really appreciate you all coming to view this video that I put a lot of my very limited video making into. I hope everyone enjoys this and at the very least leaves with a bit of a different perspective about why I love the big blue boy scout. So if the title and the intro didn't give it away, this video is going to be about Superman and why I have such a great love and admiration for him. I'm not going to give a super long drawn out explanation about every single comic he has been in and I'm not going to sit here and act like every single story Superman has appeared in has been great because we all know about pink kryptonite and very funny there was this one time that lois lane became a black woman and superman was very hesitant to say if he loved her still but i will go over a short description of the character and enlist a few things that disprove a lot of the misconceptions held by people about him and better inform people about why i truly think he's the greatest hero of all time superman is american superhero from dc comics who debuted in June 1938 within the pages of Action Comics created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster. Superman, also known as kal or Clark Kent, is the sole survivor of planet Krypton and was sent to Earth by his parents jor and Laurel on Vaughn just before the cataclysmic destruction of their home planet. Upon landing on Earth in the countryside of Kansas, he was found by the couple John and Martha Kent where he was raised as their own. Being a Kryptonian under the light of Yellow Sun, Clark developed various amazing powers, including superhuman strength, speed, durability, heat vision, and the ability to fly. After growing up, Clark eventually moved to the city of Metropolis, where he used his powers to help humanity and stop crime as taught to him by his adopted parents. I often hear people say that Superman is too good which I assume means that his good nature makes him unrelatable and boring. People who are not exposed to much Superman would agree with this because once upon a time, I believed the same. Only after getting older and I began reading more about his character, I didn't understand what he really stands for. Now though, Clark is often displayed as a paragon of good. Way more often he's not. He does not exist in a world that isn't. Yes, he may want to do the right thing, but what if the people don't believe him? This is displayed very well within the pages of the miniseries Superman Unchained. Within its pages, Superman would constantly be met with opposition whenever he would help, due to the masses' inability to believe a being as powerful as him would have good intentions, all while simply living by the lessons taught to him by his parents of helping those in need. Now, I may be wrong about this, but this sounds super compelling to me, and Superman's good nature would be the main driving force behind these kind of stories. Now, yes, I know that a good guy doing a good thing is a long played out trope, but with the world we live in and the stories and medias we've gotten so far, especially about even Superman himself or Superman allegories, just seeing Clark Kent do the right thing because it's right has been very refreshing to me. So all I ask you guys, please give a read to a great story of Superman Unchained and I'll go on to the next thing. Now, this is something I'm very excited to talk about. Because another thing I've heard about is Superman is too strong and beats everyone he fights. And the amount of power he has makes him boring to see in an action scenario. Which again is just painfully, painfully incorrect. I would go as far to say that Superman may often be the most powerful person on earth. But it doesn't mean he's winning every fight he's in. There are so many instances that he's just been completely walked up and down on by heroes that i can't even count but i can name a f quite a few that beat him we've got parallax we got martian manhunter we got the time that wonder woman beat him in front of all of the gods and broke his arm when he was evil we got shazam we got aquaman in the sea we got dark side who constantly whoops his ass we have freaking doomsday who literally killed him and damn he's even lost to a rich dude in a bat suit Seriously though, Superman is insanely powerful, like lifting small islands out of the ocean and flying them into space, but nowhere near unbeatable. Not to mention so often, most of his compelling moments come from him being challenged in a way that simply can't be punched. No matter how strong Clark is, Clark can't stop everything. In many iterations, his father dies from heart disease, and no matter how powerful Clark is, he can't stop that from happening, unless he flies the opposite direction of the planet's rotation so fast he reverses time. But we're not we're not talking about that instance. There's even stories where Superman is held back by the law. There are times where criminals have been set free and Superman knows they're guilty. But due to the fact that he follows the laws of our Earth, he can't do anything about it. Now look, I know often when it comes to Superman, he shows up as the strong man to save the day from villains. But it's often due to help from others. And the best of his stories have him dealing with situations that require more than superpowered punches. Within the pages of my and many others' favorite Superman comic, All-Star Superman, 
Within the pages of the comic, Superman has the strongest he's been in decades, but he's confronted with the fact that he is actually dying. So instead of writing a story about his insane new power level, the author Grant Morrison chooses to tell a personal story about a man's life and his final days. Now within those pages of Ultra Superman, we see Clark at his most emotional and vulnerable, and it's genuinely beautiful. It reminds me that the character is more than just a flying alien from outer space, but a genuinely good-hearted farm boy from Kansas that all he wants to do is protect the earth and the people he loves, which is humanity. Lastly, I would like to hit on Superman's depiction as a modern media. Now, like many people who watched Zack Snyder's Justice League, Batman, and Superman movies, I was left a little disappointed. Now, unlike most people, I have a bit of an innate drama of superhero movies. I am a lifelong fan of these characters, and seeing them in a big screen brings me joy no matter what. But seeing Zack Snyder's portrayal of Superman left me wanting. Snyder was going for a darker universe with many of his characters existing in a morally gray space, which I think is completely wrong when it comes to Superman. That works for Batman to a point, and maybe others, but absolutely not for Superman. Within the film, Zack made Clark an emotional strongman who questions every move he makes instead of just doing the right thing because he knows the right thing. He also, for one of the few times ever, actually gives off some air of superiority that makes me as a Superman fanboy weep. I think this perception of Clark being a holier than thou is such a huge misconception. I always point to the movie Superman 1978 for what I think is the best incident of Superman in film, particularly his interview with Lois Lane. I can go on for hours about how perfect that scene is, but I'll sum it up by saying it shows how much of a regular guy Superman is. He's quirky, sweet, funny, all while showing that he doesn't separate himself from anyone else. Another great showing of Superman was the first season of the show Superman and Lois. Simply within the opening scene, it shows how underneath his godly powers, he's just a good-hearted farm boy who fights for those he loves and what he loves. And I think that is the direction that Superman needs to go in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for so much for sitting through this video. I know it's probably a mess, but thank you for watching this first serious creation of mine that I'm putting on my channel. Uh, I have a few more plans that are going to come up, and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to be doing next. But until then, thank you all. I love you all, and um, yeah, peace out.